What's up, Raft Gang? Welcome back to the channel. And this is going to be an unboxing of the AC10 Portable HD Body Camera. Now, for those who are in law enforcement or security guard or want to vlog your, your trip or anything like that, body cams are pretty cool. Now, of course, there's the high-end body cams, the, the, the high, you know, popular brands. But if you want something a little more affordable, around the hundred-ish dollar mark, then uh, let's give this a try. So this is what I'm going to try. Uh, it's a good deal on Amazon, so I picked it up. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to unbox it, talk about it, and then I'll do a test uh, outside on the daytime. And then later tonight, I'll do a, uh, a nighttime uh, vision to see what that looks like on this. All right, well, without further ado, guys, let's check this out. So this is the uh, AC10 Portable HD Camera. It's made by uh, Lamto. And uh, we'll look at the website in a moment here. Uh, but this one's pretty cool. It's got 4K resolution, waterproof, infrared, light, all the good stuff. Without further ado, of course, like, subscribe, share. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, let's flip over to the Amazon uh, listing here. All right, so Lamto 4K Police Body Cam. It's got Wi-Fi, GPS, 64 gig card built in which is upgradable to 128 gigabyte, a little micro SD card. Um, yeah, it's got a 4,000 milliamp battery. Uh, yeah, so you can wear it on your shirt and bring it on with you. Uh, looks pretty nice. Got a nice little design there. It's got the screen on the back, a few buttons here and there, rechargeable, of course, and you can transfer stuff to your PC. What's really cool about the, the app is you can uh, see what's on the, uh, the memory card from the app itself. Uh, so it's got 4K 30 frames or 1080p 60 frames. You can go down to 720 and 4, 480p, I'm, I'm sure, as well. All right, so, yeah, so Lamto seems to be a good company. Been around for a little bit. All right, so all the features you have is the uh, the 4K Ultra. It's got 40 megapixel uh, photos. So you can take pictures, you know, if you want, snapshot of something. Wi-Fi GPS, infrared night vision, laser light, one key operation. IP65 waterproof, 170 degree wide angle, which is good. Audio recording, of course. Loop recording is when when you set the recording time, you can do a small amount, burst amount, or you can do a continuous loop. And if it does fill up the memory card, it'll start, uh, it'll overlap and erase the previous uh, day and just keep recording. Uh, motion detection is there. It includes a 64 gig, but you can upgrade to 128 if you want. And then larger battery is about seven to eight hours of continuous recording in 2K. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, so it's used for uh, on-duty police officers, security uh, security officer, bouncers, cyclists, motorcycle drivers, you know, something like that. Yeah, the drop proof and waterproof is good. It's lightweight, which is nice, lighter than the cell phone. So that's good when it's on your shirt. You don't want to be feeling it too much, you know. Big battery, of course, very good. It looks like it gives you the charge cable and a couple of uh, couple of shirt harnesses or or clips there. And then your micro SD card that goes in there. Very nice. Dash cam mode. So you can use it as a dash cam too in a stationary mode. And there's the features there for you. Night vision. We'll see how good that is tonight. Uh, it's got some warning lights too. If you want the uh, the lights to turn on red and blue flashing. If you want to turn that on, you can. All right. And then you got your app, which you can download. Road cam app. Okay, and then you can see all the footage on the actual card and change some settings too. Very nice. GPS, you can see where you're at. Awesome. You got to install your GPS player from that address. All right, guys, so it looks pretty cool. Let's flip over to uh, the unboxing cam and see what's inside. Let's go. Okay, guys, here it is. The front of the box is here. Bottom box here. A couple things on the side. Looks like it just slides open here. Sorry guys, no, uh, yeah. All right, open it up here. Quick start guide, I guess you just download this here and uh, go from there, cool. Got your nice instruction manual here. Uh-huh, yeah, very nice. Got some color in there, very cool. All right, there's the main event. We'll hold that for last here. All right, so there's the first shirt clip here. Looks like it rotates up and down. But this is the uh, 
a shirt clip and make a little hook here for maybe a button or something. But realistically, hopefully you can clip this on your shirt uh, pocket and it'll just hang on the bottom. Okay. And here is the other Here's the other clip here, a little shorter one. So hopefully this works upside down as well. I'm not sure, it might clip in here and then you're stuck with the up and down, but we'll see. All right, there's your two clips. And here is your USB cable. And this is one of those old school style plugs here, guys. You don't see this too often, so that's a that's a rare one. Not updated. No U micro USB. No USB three. So yeah, don't don't break this cable. All right, that's all that's in the box. All right, the main event here. Okay, a little bit of weight eh, eh. compared to my cell phone here. It's about the same with the case. All right, so here it is. Wow. You got the lens here, a couple lights, a couple sensors. Looks like a, either a speaker or a microphone in front. Got some little grooves in here. Got the little film. You can take that off if you want here in the front. Got a little film. And it looks like this is this. I'm not sure what the star button does. This is the video camera button, picture button, microphone button. And then it looks like this is like a up arrow, down arrow for something. On the back here, got some film you can take off of the screen. Back button, on and off, reset. Looks like this is like some kind of siren button. Siren button here, and then M for probably a memory button. And on this side, you're going to have uh, audio, video. So audio video input, audio video output. So this will be like a composite. You have to get a separate cable to do that. And then on this side, there is your USB and your mini HDMI or micro HDMI output. Right there, you need an adapter for that as well. And there's another power button here. So, okay, let me see. Okay, it's not a power button. Looks like a o okay and something other. So your power is going to be here on the side. Not sure it's on the bottom here. Little little screen there, and on the top, a couple other little sensors here probably. So here is where the the clip goes into. Looks like it might go only one way. Yeah. Yeah, so it goes down one way. So you'll have your clip here. Which I suppose will be good if you clip it on your shirt downward like that. Like if you have an open pocket, this will be for the open pocket. Clip down on your shirt. And then this one. It's got a, got a little clip here. So it locks in. You see that little clip? This clip will lock in if I push it down. Perfect. So this is the way you want, if you want to clip it on your shirt this way, clip it up so it hangs down. That's the way I'll probably use it. Cool. Well, let's just clip it in. Okay, hard clip. Now it's locked in. And then you push this little tab here, push that in, then it releases it. Okay. So I'm not sure what kind of battery life is on here. Well, let's just turn it on and see if there is battery. So push the, push the power button on, hold it in. Whoa. And there we go. So we're in 2K30 resolution. 
2K30 resolution. It's got the timestamp, the battery indicator. Very nice. On the bottom is your date and your time. And then at bottom, that's how much space you have left. So it says 58.9. All right. Yeah, it's full color. Looks good. Detail. Hello. All right, cool. Um, right on. So no lights on in the front when you turn it on, so that's good. Looks like there's a light on top here. Green. Sweet. Uh, let's see. Okay. So it says video. Hold on here, guys. Video, photo, auto. Audio. How do you move? Okay. So the buttons over here move it left and right. So it's on the video now. Okay for video. No file. So that's how you, you view the file. Okay. Back. Photos. Okay, no photos. And that's the audio. So is the M for memory? Like what's on the memory stick? No. There we go. So M is for menu. All right. So resolution, we're at 2K30. We press OK and then go arrows. We can go 4K30. 40... Can't see that, guys. Can you see that? So you got 480p 30, 4K 30, 2K 30, 1296p 30, 1080p 60, 1080p 30, 720p 30, 720p 30, 60, 720 720 720 and then 40p 30, 4K 30. Wow. <clears throat> Well, I'm going to go 4K30 and see how long the battery lasts. So we'll select OK. Second one is photo size. You can go 8, 40. We'll go 40. I want the highest quality. Pre record. Not sure what pre-record is. Pre-record. Let me turn this off here. So there's pre-record. Post-record is off. Video quality. Video quality. I'm turning that on. Exposure is zero. Might want to change that. Loop recording. I want on. Video length. Video length. I'm not sure what that is. We definitely don't want it for no five minutes. LCD auto off in three minutes. 30 seconds. I'm going to choose that. Auto power off. Never. Yeah, we want to turn it off ourselves. Ketone. Turn that off, that's annoying. Auto recording on. Audio recording, yep. We want audio recording. Device volume. Let's do low. Dash cam mode is off and device ID is 000. Officer. 
zero zero. That's, that's you know. Password is on. So you can lock this with a password, so only you can access this uh this information. Self timer, motion detection, GPS. Let me turn it off. Wi-Fi car cam. Indicator light, only rear. And then the Wi-Fi app is there. And then the screen turns off in 30 seconds automatically because that's what I set. Nice. Oh, it's still on. Got to make sure you hold the button down to turn it off. Power off. Cool. Now I'm not sure where the uh, micro SD card is. Hold on, maybe it's down in here. Nope. So no micro SD card. Oh, there it is. Okay, guys, there it is. Micro SD card is right in the slot there. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to recharge this and then I'll uh, do some video of it. Be right back. All right, Raft Gang, we are in 4K30 in the Raft Cave recording right now. 4K30 resolution. How's it going, Raft Cave? Mitts, turn the corner. What's going on? Walking down this cool hallway with posters. We are entering the home theater. Amazing clips reference home theater comfortable recliner seats and this awesome 135 inch cinegray screen yeah all right I head back to our starting position hopefully the camera shake isn't too bad hopefully the mic is decent what's up steering wheel mm. so michael all right let's check out the footage 4k 30 all right, Raf gang, we are in 1080p 60 frames a second mode. Walking in the Raf cave, turning the corner. How's it going? Walking down the hallway here. Amazing posters. Turn the corner and enter the home theater. Welcome. Comfortable seats. And this incredible 135 inch Cinegray screen. Awesome. Walking back. How's the uh, the shaky cam action as I'm walking? Hopefully not too bad in 60 frames. Mic check, mic check. How you doing, steering wheel? Amazing, Thrustmaster. Michael. Turn the corner and here we back. Hopefully it's all good. Let's check it out. All right, Raft Gang, this is night vision. Outside the house now. And uh, that looks pretty good. Backyard now. No lights back here. All right, come on, Loki, let's go. All right, guys, this is a closeout video of this cool little body cam here. I've used it a, f uh, a couple days now, and uh, I'm I'm very pleased with this one. Uh, what I record is in 1080 60. Uh, 1080 p 60 is just a much cleaner, smoother type of video. And uh, the battery lasts well over eight hours, so eight and a half, eight forty-five ish. Uh, so definitely a full day, and uh, quality is great for me. Uh, walking around is really great. Four uh, K thirty, even though it's sharper, uh, the battery won't last as long, and it's a little shakier. So maybe if you're more stationary, I'd probably be a better way to go. But then the battery wouldn't last as long, so you got to kind of gauge it from there. Uh, easy to transfer the videos to your computer with the USB cable, uh, the app. Uh, I turn that off uh, because the 
when you turn on the Wi-Fi of this camera, it does drain the battery even faster. So that's another key point there. And the GPS, I, I didn't, I didn't get it. GPS, I didn't even use that. So that's if you want to try it, you can. Uh, Wi-Fi is cool. If you want someone to watch what you're filming, that's different, right? So someone can be watching what you're doing, and you can send it in and go wherever and uh, do it that way. That's good. But if you're just going to walk around by yourself, you're not going to want to have the app and that doesn't make sense, right? So that's why I turned it off. Uh, otherwise, sound was a little muffled, yeah, but if someone's going to be close to you, that's what's most important. You can definitely understand people that are close to you within like five feet of you, so that's fine. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, it's great. Easy to use. Good buttons. The buttons are a little, a little squishy. I would like to be a little more clicky, but that's the only knock I have on this. Uh, no purpose for the, the orange button here. Nothing there. Uh, I have not tried the HDMI out, but definitely could get that cable and plug it into your TV if you want. And I didn't try the uh, the composite yellow, red, and white ports for that. So that's, that's yeah, I'm probably not going to use that. The clip is nice. I definitely like the shirt clip. That was easily clipped on, on the pocket. And then the other long adapter, I have no idea what that's for. It's just a longer tooth to type. I don't know. You know, Maybe you have a shirt that, that works for it. Otherwise, this is like 100, uh, 120 bucks now on Amazon. I think I like this one. I, like, I recommend this one. Um, I didn't know. The red and white lights, I didn't turn that on. And there is a siren if you want to turn the siren. Uh, night vision actually was pretty good. You could look, click the little up, up arrow button. That'll toggle between night vision and color up and down. Uh, the time date and all that stuff on the screen is good. Um, yeah, and that's uh, good to go, guys. So, yeah, that was good. Mode has a laser pointer, too, if you want to turn the laser light on. Just red light thing, so... Uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. Uh, the red light is on top when it's recording. The green light is when it's on. Um, so that's nice. It's not in front here, so you don't have any, any lights in front, which is nice. So it's a little more inconspicuous. All right, guys, that's all I have to say about this one. If you want an inexpensive, good quality body cam, this is recommended by Raf Cave. All right, guys, link in the description below if you want to pick yourself up one. Otherwise, you have a great day. Like, subscribe, share. See you in the next unboxing home theater rules. Raf out. See you guys.